Hey, man. Hey, Andy. Happy Valentine's Day, buddy. Valentine's Day to you. You know, I was thinking, Valentine's Day, you don't just have to do the traditional Hallmark stuff, right? No, why not? Well, I got you something small. You got me something? I did. Oh, man, thanks. What is it? I'll show you. Wow, Andy, you really shouldn't have. Thanks so much, buddy. Let's see what we got. Wow, a special limited edition Crowler. Oh, look at this. It's a 21090 pint glass. Man, you went above and beyond. Thanks, buddy. Happy Valentine's Day. Tom. I got something for you, too. Hold on. I mean, as long as it's not chocolates and flowers, which I'm sure you didn't do. Bring it on. Ah, uh, Todd. All right, everyone, welcome back to 21090. Love is in the air. Ooh. It is Valentine's <laughs> season. Uh, February, we are here in Hella's Restaurant and Lounge in Millersville, Maryland. I'm Andy, this is Mike, and this is Todd. And today, we're going to be talking about a couple really cool Valentine's Day beers and what they could pair well with. All right, Mike, so not our traditional looking style of beer right here off the bat. Beautiful color, but we're looking at something a little bit different. Tell us what we're going to be sampling first today because the nose is already telling me I'm excited. So we're going to be breaking away a little bit from what we've been doing with the aged beers and try a little bit fresh seasonal offerings. And this first thing that we're trying here is definitely perfect for Valentine's Day. Yeah. When I think Valentine's Day, when I think of doing Valentine's Day menus and Valentine's Day meals, I think of Frulli. Uh. Frulli is a Belgian strawberry beer. It is brewed first as a traditional Belgian wit beer mm -hmm. or white beer, yep. which is, uh, it started off with malted barley and a whole lot of wheat. Yeah. And then in the wort, a little bit of coriander and dried orange peel are added to get that traditional Belgian yep. wit beer. And after fr initial fermentation, a bunch of fresh squeezed strawberry juice is added in and then a second fermentation occurs they add in a little bit of extra yeast and we have ourselves a strawberry beer not looks, a whipped beer strawberry looks beer. beautiful and this is brewed in the same place where they do the delirium correct out about i think it's about 45 minutes outside of brussels um so they have some really that's the famous beer with the pink elephant on it that you uh, see with the yes, white bottle yes. Um, but this right. is also one of the most popular and accessible strawberry wits that you have here in the States. Yes. So I'm excited to get a hold right. of this. It is brewed in just outside of Ghent, um, Belgium, and it is brewed in a 300 year old brewery. So they've been doing this for a long time and they've really refined their technique over the centuries. Right, this, this beer sounds amazing, Mike, but on Valentine's Day, what would you pair this with fruit wise? So being a whip beer, it's a little bit lighter. Um, you're not going to go with anything heavy with that. Um, you definitely don't want it to anything that's going to overwhelm the beer and you don't want the sweetness or the tartness of the beer to overwhelm it. Yeah. So what we've done is we could, we've uh, created a nice fish dish to pair it Ooh. with. All right, so what we have here is a little bit of oven roasted red snapper and it is on top of a bed of cauliflower puree, char-grilled char asparagus, some roasted vegetables, a little bit of bacon to add a little bit more flavor and body to the dish and it's topped off with a strawberry and champagne vinaigrette that has been made with the fruli as a strawberry component Again, to the vinaigrette. you are not going to get anything like this anywhere else but Hellas. Mike is, is a genius cooking and pairing with the beer. I, I, I love the way you match things together yes. and you always no. take a piece we'll of where the beer is from. You take uh, a little bit of the beer and you kind of infuse it together yeah. so that yeah. it, it, it truly complements each it's other. It's the common thread. And I, I love that. And I think that's one. We, we've seen this time right. and time again. Well, so I think we said it last time. Less talking, yeah. more yeah. eating. Let's, let's drink let's, first. Let's, let's, yeah, let's uh, try let's this out. Oh, I mean, it is a champagne beer right is, there. All right. Look at that. The nose is, the nose is just really when pretty. When you I crack mean, this open, I was four feet away. Yeah. I could smell it. And it's overwhelming. It's strawberries. It's strawberries. So it is composed of 70% wit beer and 30% strawberries. The strawberries, the sugars in the strawberries provide the food for the second fermentation. So it does have a solid alcohol content. It's a 4.1. So it's like drinking a light beer. There you Wait, go. Cheers, cheers, boys. Cheers. Wait. Mm. 
I mean, that's that's well, nice. That's, I mean, that's something that, yeah, it's the middle of February and it's a little chilly. You could drink that on a nice warm summer day and have that as a picnic. Could. I mean, that's yeah. just that's an all around. Yeah. Just easy drinking, sipping beer. But now I can't wait to see how this oh, yeah, is right, with, right, with, very, with the food. Yep. Let's, uh, let's, so what we let's get in just here. Get right yeah, get into the snapper. Uh, get some of that roasted cauliflower, yes, maybe sir. a little bit of bacon on there. Sounds good to me. I'm and to dig in. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Huh, hold on, mm -hmm. one more. You got to try with the strawberry, too. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that in a second. Let me just pour this snapper here. That cauliflower is perfect. Oh my goodness. It's light. It's elegant. It's refined. I bet you never thought you could no. have such a light, refined, no. elegant dish with beer. Never. Yep. Oh, Mike, you look, you look just a little, oh. you look good there. there oh, you go. thank you. It is Valentine's Day, <laughs> sweetheart. And Mike, this will be on the menu here at Hellas, correct? It is. It is. This dish was uh, created in the process of coming up with our Valentine's Day menu. Perfect. Awesome. Well, again, amazing, amazing uh, mm -hmm. pairing here. And we're not done though. Mike, you've come up with another beer in Paris. So we started light. I'm assuming we're getting a little bit heavier now. Yes, as we yes, move yes. up a notch. Yes, look, you can't have Valentine's Day without some chocolate, right? Oh. So we got to go strawberries and chocolate. Let's well go. done, Mike. Well That's done. Nice. All right, well, if you're in the Mid Atlantic area, you know Yards, big brewery up in Philadelphia that makes some amazing beers. Mike's going to actually tell us about one today that pairs perfectly with a dish. We can't wait to get into oh. it. Go ahead, Mike, take it away. All right, guys, we're trying today a little bit of a chocolate love stout from Yard. So it's, All right. It is a uh, uh, English style stout that is brewed with over 200 pounds of chocolate in it. Ooh. So it's got a lot of chocolate. What I like about this, though, is that um, it's not overly sweet. It's not syrupy. It, drink, it feels like you're tasting beer. You know, it drinks like you're tasting beer, and it's got really good strong notes of chocolate to it. And I would assume that means it's going to pair perfectly with what we have here as a dish. Cool. Yeah, so we have a little bit of New York strip that's being grilled with a chocolate coffee rub. Oh. So we've got a little bit of Beautiful. cocoa powder, a little bit of, uh, of ground coffee, some uh, brown sugar, some spices in there. Did it with a char yeah. grill, and then we have it over top of some sweet potato hash. Oh, Beautiful. Leave again. again. Go ahead. Available here. You're going to see you the same thing. Yep. Valentine's Day right around the corner. Come on in here. This will be on the menu. You can pair this. Um, this could also probably pair with a little bit of some something sweet too because of the way this is designed as well. Okay. So this yes. could be uh, with your dessert as well, I'm assuming. So, so let's let's get into the, it. The huh? beer it is. Yes, let's do it. Let's start the beer first. This has been around since 97, but it wasn't really widely available until 2000, um, mm -hmm. I think it was like 15. Yeah, I've had so, this before. You know, again, I get a lot of coffee notes too when mm -hmm, I drink this. Mm -hmm. um, I know it's made with a lot of chocolate but that the coffee nose does come through doesn't come out with the nose as much and yeah, i don't know cheers guys cold, but cheers love stout mm -hmm. it's got that good creaminess yes. it, I've, I've always liked this beer yeah very good, good easy it's nice got a beer. nice long finish the viscosity is there i think this is this is a pretty beer great mouthfeel I get a lot of that mm -hmm. coffee still too. I know they're using chocolate. Is that dark chocolate they're using? They say. I assume it's probably it more is. of a more it's bitter a Belgian chocolate. dark there it is. chocolate. It's it a is. Belgian thing. Belgian we had dark chocolate. And now we have the Belgian dark this, chocolate. I can so. tell you right now, it's going to be amazing with that. With that sure. It's yeah. going to it's going to go so well. Yeah. I think it should. Should. Let's do it. I think the bellies are talking here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So again, Todd, you can talk for a minute. Go yeah. ahead. Let me just tape. So again, Mike, your inspiration behind this with the steak and and, and the stout. What, again, what flavors are you looking for to combine with this beer? When you're looking for something hearty, something big and something heavy, it's not like a light beer. It does drink a little bit heavy. So the reason we went with steak again, it's nice and uh, full bodied. Um, it has that earthy component that yes. um, that goes really well with the chocolate. Um, the rub kind of ties them together, you know, because you're talking about the notes yep. of coffee. You're going to yep. get a lot of coffee out of the state. You're going to get some bittersweet chocolate out there. And you're going to get some sweetness as well. So I think the rub will, will actually complement the beer by adding sweetness that it may be lacking a little bit. Some people may want a sweeter chocolate beer. This is perfect. Yeah, I can't wait to see how this plays with that sort of, uh, you know, roasty flavor of the stout. And the sweet that mouth is really good too. There is a sweet finish on this stout. Okay. So let's go in. Oh man. 
don't don't hesitate now. Oh, Mike's going right for the hash, huh? Oh, you gotta have a little bit of gotta hash. Have, on all that. right, yeah. hash on there, that. Man. look at that beauty. Oh, and you pull that away. Yep. There yep, you go. Yep. Look, stole that. That's good. Mm. Woo wee! Look at this. Wow. Mm. That hash adds a little bit of spice, a little oh, bit man. of pepperness, a little bit of heat. That's amazing. To complement the sweet. Maybe a little Oops. bit of beer with that. That right there is an amazing steak compliment. Mm. You're 100% right. This actually brings out a little bit of the coffee notes. In it. Yeah, the complimentary you know, seasonings that in the um, yeah. steak definitely highlight the coffee. Un unbelievable. This hash, though, it's amazing. Yeah, that is really, a... really good. Really good. Mm. See, I just... A little bit of bacon in that. Yeah. I love the way these two pair, though. This is... I'm going to make another because, cut right there. Don't worry. Don't mind me. Just again, right with in. the way the rub is... And how well seasoned it is. This has just enough mm. kind of bitterness and astringency to kind of yeah. Yeah. balance that out too. Oh wow, um, man, this is good. Beautiful cup of steak too. It's New York strip. New York strip, Mike, yeah. Mikey, you're two for two today, brother. You know, again, come in this week at, at Hella's on mm -hmm. Valentine's Day. This will be on the menu. He'll have the suggestion to pair it with this love stout. You cannot go wrong. 100. percent We had earlier the fish with the brulee. That works well as well. It's much lighter. So whether you like the lighter or the sort of more hearty, sure. we got something for you, right? Yep, yeah, it's definitely something on both ends of the spectrum. If you're looking for something light, you're looking for something elegant, the fish dip goes well. We have plenty of fruity. If you're looking for something heartier, mm, you can't buddy. beat that steak and hash. You, you know? cannot. You cannot. I um, and I think this beer, especially with a dish like this, it's it's very rich. There's a lot oh. going on with the rub. You need really something good. to cut mm -hmm. through that. That's, perfect. That's really perfect. I think this is a classic example of how when you're pairing food and drink, it completely alters you know, the taste, the flavors, and your experience. Yeah, if you're drinking this alone, you're right. We, you it, bring it back good. to, like, again, like we talked before, like people would think, well, I gotta have a big red wine with this, maybe a Cabernet Sauvignon or something, or a big Tuscan Italian, but this Amazing. is perfect, and perfect. it really complements the flavors and makes them pop, so. Totally does. Awesome. Come to Hella's. Get your hands on some of these dishes. Mike's also going to have some other stuff on the menu as well. Yes. So plenty to choose from, and uh, whoever you take with you will not be disappointed. Or if you're flying solo, come sit right here at the bar. There you go. Have a couple beers and grab something. So, yeah, good stuff. Well and done. So, again, a great seller series. We didn't really sell any beer today, but uh, I think showing you sort of what Mike has here with the food and beer pairings can't go well done. Yeah. So as always, if you like what you see from 21090, please hit that subscribe button, click that little bell in the corner. It's gonna let you know every time we release a new video. Um, we've got Twitter, we've got Instagram, we are on untapped. Yep. So we will go ahead and throw our reviews of these two great beers up for you to see. Uh, and you tell us what you think. We've also got all kinds of feeds for Hellas. We'll link you up below. Um, go check them out, and again, if you're anywhere in the in the Mid Atlantic area, especially in Maryland, worth the trip because knowledgeable staff, amazing food, good people. Again, we could not be more grateful, Mike. So thank yeah. you. So until next, next time, getting a little bit warmer. Yeah, spring is starting spring to come. We'll see what we got next. Uh, Punxsutawney didn't see a shadow, so maybe an early spring. Hey, there you go. Huh? All right, but uh, happy Valentine's Day, boys. All right, guys. Cheers. Well done, Mike. Well done. Another good episode, huh? Cheers, everybody. For all the lovers out there. <laughs>